If you have back pain or indeed any other pain like headaches, neck pain, tension, even knee pain sometimes, and you also have a problem with your jaw, then it might be the case that your jaw is affecting other parts of your body. And I'm gonna explain how and then what you can do about it. So the jaw is a really, really important joint because it sends a lot of feedback up to the brain on the position of the head and the position of the body. So like all joints, if it's not working properly, it's not sending the right feedback up to the brain and the signals going back down are not gonna be appropriate, meaning muscles might be too tight on one side and that kind of thing. How do you know if you've got a jaw problem? Um, if you get any clicking or clunking with your jaw or it seems to deviate to one side when you open your mouth or, you, um, or you're eating, um, if you uh, find yourself grinding and clenching your teeth a lot, maybe if you've had a wisdom tooth out, because sometimes you can kind of tense up more on one side, maybe to, uh, to kind of compensate for that. Um, and of course, if you get any jaw pain, if you, or if you've had any trauma to the jaw, you know, we sometimes see people who um, do kickboxing and that kind of thing, for example, who've actually had direct trauma to the jaw. So if you've got any of those symptoms, so you know you've got an issue with the jaw, you just find it's very tense and you've got back pain, then it could be that one's affecting the other. So this is the kind of thing that we test when someone comes in and you can test it in various ways by doing muscle testing and then opening the mouth or pressing on one side of the jaw to see it affects the strength of the muscles and the rest of the body. And if it does, then it's very, very obvious that that's the case. How do we treat it? So we generally do some gentle manipulation with the jaw, sometimes some pressure point therapy, finding the tender sore muscles around there to release the tension on one side or on both sides and um, we give you some exercises, which I'll show you a very simple one in a minute. We also sometimes use a little gadget, call this, it's not as scary as it looks, it's called an activator, and it's just a little spring-loaded device that goes click, but you can set it very, very, very gently. You can almost hardly feel it, but it's great for joints like, like the joint will be very delicate and very specific, so sometimes this is a good treatment option. And again, if you find if the jaw is affecting the back and you treat the jaw um, properly then you'll find that the back pain gets a lot better and the muscle strength returns and it's very obvious that you know that was a cause factor um, so i want to show you a little exercise if you've got if you find that your jaw deviates and what i mean by that is if you look in the mirror and you open your mouth like that and then it goes off to one side maybe it does that or it just goes uh, and look a bit strange right now but don't do this in public. Um, but if you find that it kind of deviates to one side or it kind of clunks or anything like that, then it's probably slightly out of alignment. A very simple way you can, um, you can address this, a simple exercise. Well, first of all, you don't want to be, do any, um, so you don't want to do any vigorous exercises or pressure with the jaw. So I've known people who've been really kind of rough with it, um, trying to do some kind of self manipulation and they've just made matters a lot worse. So you want to be very gentle with the jaw. Put your fingers on either side of the jaw like that, up to your temple, so you can put one or two fingers. You, and again, this is great in front of a mirror because you can see whether you're doing it correctly. And all you're gonna do is open and close your mouth. Ah. And you'll be able to feel whether the jaw sticks out slightly more on one side. Now if it does, all you're gonna do is just apply gentle pressure on that side. So you're just kind of guiding it back to the center. And you're in the mirror, you're trying to get the jaw to align correctly when you're opening and closing your mouth. It's as simple as that. It's very subtle, very gentle, but it really works well. And the best thing, like all of these exercises, is to do it a few times a day, three, four times a day, you know, whenever you make a cup of tea or something like that. So this is what it looks like. So you put your fingers on the side of your jaw, light pressure. Uh, open and close. Do that maybe 10 times, it doesn't take very long, it's just about repeating it until the brain starts to kind of reposition where it thinks is a normal position and it'll start to realign everything correctly. Um, yeah, so if you've got any jaw problems and a back problem, one might be affecting the other, not always, but it's uh, we see it quite commonly. And if you've got any questions about that, stick them in the comments or um, uh, send us a message. Hope that helps. Take care.